Hey guys, it's Monica and I'm going to bring you a, a wig review. I know it's been a while since I've posted any kind of uh, a wig video, but I'm going to share this with you. I actually think this is a pretty awesome color. And I think I'm more excited about the color because I don't often do browns or have any kind of brown shades. I'm usually more the blonde, the ashy blondes, sometimes even, you know, brighter blondes. But this is John Renault's Aaliyah. Now, Aaliyah is an older style, so it's not a brand new style, but it is a um, contemporary bob. So I have a pretty long face considering my face is nine inches from the temple to my chin. And this actually is nine inches in the front. So I think that's pretty cool. Now the, the crown of this is 10.5 and you can see it gives me this little bump right here, which I really like. And then the ends flip up so cute. Now you're either going to like the flip in the end or you're not. And I actually like the flip in the end. So the ends flip up really nice. The nape is 5.5 and the sides are right about eight. I'm going to do a slow spin. I love the maneuver. I mean, these are synthetic fibers. They're not heat friendly, but they're synthetic fibers and they just feel I just think they feel so nice. So, but check out this color. This is FS 10 slash 16. It's called Walnut Syrup. So it's an ash brown with, I'm sorry, it's a light brown with ash blonde highlights throughout. And I think the highlights are just so pretty. They're so evenly blended. They're just really, really nice. I'm going to show you the inside of the cap right now so that you can see what it looks like. The cap, this is what John Renault calls their smart lace. So it's almost invisible and it is, I mean, I'm going to show you before I superimpose. Take a look at, I mean, you really can't even see at all. So smart lace, virtually invisible, John Renault says. And it is a lace front hairline, gives you an amazing ability to do off the face. You can do all sorts of different styling options with it. And it has this, take a look, beautiful monofilament cap. The monofilament cap is, um, it, it just gives you the ability to be able to part it on any side, you have so much versatility, and the monofilament cap gives you that natural hair growth look right from the scalp, and I just love it. I, I, I mean, for me, my perfect wig has a lace front and a mono cap. That's my perfect wig. I love, and I don't, it, if it's a narrow mono top, it, it, I can deal with that, but I need to have a lace front and a mono top to feel super comfortable in a wig. Gives me that versatility. This is really pretty. John Renault Synthetic Hair Fiber. This is pretty well styled in a very natural look. Um, if there is any permatease in here, I it's very minimal. There is a good amount of volume, but it's not over the top. And this is right out of the box. So I don't not, it, typically I should say, Typically, when you get synthetic fibers out of the box, they're shiny. Now, this may be a little shiny in the light, but looking at it in person, there's hardly any shine on this. It is such a natural looking fiber, and I love the colors. Look at the colors. I'm going to superimpose a couple of shots that I took outside so you can see. It's not a full sunny day, but um, I wanted you to be able to see. And you can actually, if you want, you can comb these down if you really want, or you can, you know, flip them the way they are. And um, I like the flip. Now, I probably would trim a little bit more of a fringe along the sides just because I prefer that. So I might just shorten up a little bit on the fringe on the sides. Or you could just leave it long, pull it back. I've done nothing to this. There's no a dry shampoo. There's no any kind of hairspray. I have got a few little flyaways, but those flyaways can be tamed with a wig hairspray. 
and um, and if you if you think it's too shiny for you you can tame that with some batiste just spray that on that's you can buy that anywhere walmart walgreens anywhere i use the batiste batiste and um thanks to marlene fab and glam this is the one i use and this is divine dark so I've never tried the Divine Dark. I have the blonde, I have the light brown. There's many different flavors. <laughs> oh, color blends or shades, <laughs> flavors. Uh, but I've never tried this Divine Dark before because I thought, gosh, it would be too dark. But it isn't, and it's actually perfect. And Marlene turned me on to this color. I've been using Batiste for a while, but never this color, like I said, or this shade range. <laughs> whatever um but you can spray this on like it and it, it'll just take down some of the shine if you really feel and if you have a really blonde color wig that you want to take a little bit of the color down you can shine it you can take a little bit of it down um not very much it's not going to be like and that's what i was afraid of that it was going to come out and it was going to be that color brown and it's not so, anyways, this was sent to me complimentary from Wig Studio One in exchange for a review, and um, and I love it. I think this is really cute, really cute. John Renault, and this is Aaliyah by John Renault, and I'll link all the information below. Again, thank you so much to Wig Studio One for sending this to me. I think it's really cute. What do you guys think? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.